Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. If you are following along with the e commerce website that we are building, uh, basically we called it Fresh Gear. We did a couple of pages already with the, uh, the basics of the website, you know, the landing page, the products page, the single product page, the about page. Uh, we created the cart, uh, the checkout, right? So we did all of those things. Now we are ready to move on to the react part. Okay. Now this is where if you did not want to do the HTML CSS part of the course, then you could skip all the way to this video here, right? To the instructions from here on. And you basically, you skip all of that HTML CSS and all of those different templates that we created. Okay. And you just want to get to the meat of the, you know, the course, then here is where you start. Okay. So basically what I want you guys to do is you're going to go to github.com, right? You're going to github.com slash coding phase D O T C O M. So coding phase.com, of course. And then you're going to click on course files. You're going to come down here where it says e-commerce with node completed files. Now you're going to click on download. All right. Now in the master branch, that's where we're going to have all of the completed files and whatever is up to date. So every single time that I do any changes, I'm going to be uploading them here to the master. But if you want to skip to certain sections, like right now, you want to skip to this section without having to do everything from the beginning, then you could come here and go to step two: react components start. Okay. This is where we're going to start our react component. So all you have to do is come here, click on that branch. It switches up to that branch and you download the zip file. Okay. Once you download the zip file, all you have to do is have Node.js installed, have uh, the web developer starter kit installed. Okay. Just basically gulp webpack the Webpack CLI, all of the things that you need, uh, Adonis JS. All right. So if you follow the instructions and you already have no JS installed, you should be fine. Okay. Do the installations right now. I'm not going to go over this because I go over that in the beginning of this course. Now for anybody that wants to just follow along, like I said, just follow the instructions that are here. Make sure that your GOAT version is at 3.9.1 okay that's the version that we're using now once you are inside of uh, this project so for example once you download this okay from this branch you're gonna come here you're gonna rename this file and call it fresh gear okay now because I already have this I'm gonna call this fresh gear too but you should guys should call it fresh gear okay so you're going to come here, drag this to, let's say your projects. Okay. Go to your projects. For me, I have my projects inside of my home directory. Okay. And I created a folder called projects. So within here, we are going to have our fresh gear. Okay. Where is it? All right. Cool. So I already have this files here. So for you guys, it should be fresh gear, right? But we're doing this from the jump. So I'm doing it for you guys. So it's called fresh gear Two. Now, all you have to do is open up a new tab. Okay. On your terminal and you're going to go to CD. Okay. Tilda takes you to the home directory slash projects. Okay. Then from there, we're going to say fresh gear. Oops. Fresh gear Two. Okay. And then in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say NPM install. All right. Now I have all of these things already set up for me. Okay. I already have gulp. I already have webpack and I already have the webpack CLI already set up. So this is fine. All right. Give this a second. I'm going to pause this for now. Okay. So you should be good. Everything has been installed. Now the next step that you want to do is you want to check your GOAT version. Make sure you do this because if not, you're going to have issues. It should say CLI version 3.91, 
local version 3.91 okay so you should be good then from there you're gonna come here copy this command and what this is going to do is gonna copy the .env example file it's gonna copy it and it's gonna create a file called .env okay so we're gonna do that all right everything is good we're gonna generate a key so we're gonna copy this I'm gonna paste this here Adonis key generate it generated a unique key then from there if you are running any type of migrations right in the future you will run Adonis migration run for now we're not doing anything with the database so just leave it alone okay then you're gonna come here serve the development uh, server okay you're gonna come here and say Adonis serve dash dash dev okay now you might get an error and that's because we already running that server so I already have it here so that's why it's giving me that error so you're gonna come here press control C do it one more time Adonis surf dash dash dev all right there you go it's running now I want you guys to open up a new tab all right let me close this okay let me close this all right now what you want to do here is you're gonna say npm run proxy okay and that's gonna run gulp for you and it's gonna run all of the different tasks to run the web developer starter kit which is running with Adonis JS okay so now all we have to do is go to localhost 3000 and there you go there's our application now we are good to go we have everything already set up now let's say if later on you wanted to you know deploy this website okay uh, you should definitely run npm run build before you push your your changes to your git repository or wherever you're you're hosting your website all right so just to let you guys know again to run the server is this and to run uh, the starter kit you do npm run proxy and just go to localhost 3000 okay and then from here we're ready to move on okay now sorry for anybody that's following along all right with the course itself this is just a reminder you don't have to do this because <laughs> you've basically been following along the whole time this is for the people that wanted to skip this okay so all of the steps that we just went through you don't have to do it because you already have all of your original files on your computer okay so it is what it is i'm gonna see you guys later all right it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com let's continue with this amazing course you're gonna have so much fun okay now we're jumping into react and then from there we're gonna jump into the back end then from there we're gonna jump into some web sockets like there's a lot of things and then from there we jump into stripe then from there we're doing some paypal like we're doing a lot okay it's a full fledged application that you can actually give to the client like it's legit all right i will see you guys later it's your boy joe back at it again codingface.com